one of the biggest events in the Sydney calendar. Vivid is expected to bring in over 2.3 million visitors in its 23-day run, and with more disabled artists than ever before, this year's Vivid is already changing perceptions of those often left on the outskirts. The best thing about Palo Vivid is to take my name out, really. And it just being who I am, really. Because I like, my, I like myself, so who want to be? Recent research shows that people with an intellectual disability are two to three times more likely to experience mental illness than those without. The time for art has never been more vital as it is proving to be a positive influence on the mental health of those with a disability. Every time I do my art, it makes me joy, makes me myself happy, enjoy my life, my career. Well, if I feel down, I get my, my art work out, like I do crayons, and, I, and that makes me calm. With Vivid showing how creativity can help with mental well-being, Many are calling on the need for the government to place more awareness on the benefits of art therapy. Art therapy is a mode of counselling or therapy that involves the creative process to help a person explore whatever issues that might be going on for them. But a lot of them might like art therapy, but I don't think people know that it exists. So even the option of educating providers about art therapy and the benefits of it would help a lot of people. After being diagnosed with borderline personality disorder at 26, Marley Jewell has become a key advocate for the BPD community. I'd always been um, quite suicidal. So I was in and out of psychiatric hospitals, in and out of emergency departments. I spent a lot of time in seclusion and restraint. Research released by the Wiley Institute found that for every 100 patients treated in psychiatric wards, 43 will have BPD, with around 75% of patients attempting suicide at some point in their life. By the time Marley was 28, she had attempted suicide 10 times and believes the sole reason she is still here is because of the art therapy she went like through. Art saved my life, I always say that. So... One of the things that's really sad is that when you're somebody who has a history of self-harm, the majority of time you're put in a strict room so you don't have access to anything, bed sheets, nothing, because you're a high suicide risk. Uh, and I'm not denying that I was a high suicide risk, but I've never tried to stab myself to death with a pencil. Once I built that trust, I started to draw some of the things that I had experienced or the way that they made me feel and I could give that to my psychologist. Clinical psychologist Anastasia Honras believes healthcare systems should begin to integrate creative therapies into their standardised practices. In Australia, about 30% of people who have some sort of mental health problem will access services. So already that's quite low, 30%. But then people with an intellectual disability, their rates of accessing mental health services is 10%. And they have higher rates of mental health problems than the general population. So not only do they have higher rates of difficulties, they also have lower rates of accessing treatment. So I think the arts, the sort of creative arts in general, there is research to say that they can be effective. There definitely needs to be more awareness of the services that are on offer, as well as sort of more research and funding going into evaluating different therapies. Marley believes this integration needs to start in public hospitals. My goal, I guess, is to be the first art therapist who runs groups in a locked inpatient unit who has my own lived experience of what the people in there are going through. Organisations such as Bus Stop Films are using art to help their students combat mental illness and shows how art helps many with disabilities defy the odds. But for Chris Bunton, having his short film animation being featured at Vivid meant even more. It makes me feel like I'm included. Being included is the most important thing for someone with disability. We just get left out, which is not nice to have. Art shows us the world through other people's eyes, and so what better means than having people of different abilities expressing and showing the world through their eyes so the rest of us get a glimpse of that. Vivid could not have come at a better time this year. Showcasing the talents of more than 15 disabled artists, the message of inclusivity reigns clear. But what becomes even clearer is that art is an important therapy to integrate into healthcare, as more and more research is showing that those with a disability need more specialised support 
to overcome their mental health struggles.